stuck. I'm stuck. Whether you and your friend have seen it or not, Fast and Furious 11 is happening, and we're here to spill the details on whether the Fast and Furious franchise needs to go back to its roots, although maybe not for Fast 11. Curious about the most exciting things to expect from Fast 11? We've got the scoop on the release date, cast, story, and everything you need to know about the upcoming Fast and Furious movie. Unlike previous sequels, Fast 11 is uniquely intertwined with its predecessor, Fast X. While most Fast and Furious films stand alone, Fast X Part 2 serves as a direct continuation of the overarching storyline introduced in Fast X. It's a genuine sequel, distinct from other entries in the Fast saga. Although in the early stages of development, details on the Fast 11 storyline and cast remain scarce. Nevertheless, there are some known aspects of the upcoming installment in the Fast and Furious series. On a brighter note, Fast 11 promises an intriguing evolution in its villain, Dante, played by Jason Momoa. Director Louis Leterrier hinted at significant changes, expressing admiration for Momoa's ability to portray the character's duality and emotional depth. Leterrier acknowledged Momoa's unexpected direction with the villain, noting, only an actor like Jason could have done that. Despite Dante's return, Leterrier suggested a fresh approach for Fast 11, stating, let's explore something we haven't seen before. Fans praised Momoa's performance in Fast X for breaking the mold of typical franchise villains, making his character unique. As Dante gears up for a comeback, the anticipation builds for the exciting twists and turns he might bring to Fast 11. One big question we're all curious about is, who will be in the cast for Fast 11? Even though Universal hasn't officially announced the list for Fast X Part 2, it's pretty much expected that Vin Diesel will be back as the main character, Dom Toretto. Anyone from Dom's family who didn't meet their end in Fast X is likely to return, including Michelle Rodriguez as Letty Ortiz, Jordana Brewster as Mia Toretto, Tyrese Gibson as Roman Pierce, Ludacris as Tej Parker, Sung Kang as Han Lu, and Natalie Emanuel as Ramsey. Other familiar faces, like Jason Statham as Deckard Shaw, Helen Mirren as Magdalene Queenie Elmanson Shaw, and Gal Gadot as Giselle might also make a comeback. Dwayne Johnson's brief appearance as Luke Hobbs in the post credit scene of Fast X hints at a larger role in Fast 11. The scene also suggested a possible return of Eva Mendez as Monica Fuentes. Newcomers from Fast X, like Jason Momoa as the villain Dante Reyes, Brie Larson as the rogue agent Tess, and Daniela Melchior as Brazilian racer Isabel, could continue their roles in Fast 11. Adding to the excitement, Vin Diesel has expressed his desire to have Robert Downey Jr. play the villain in Fast X Part 2 describing the character as the complete opposite of Dom. So, Fast 11 is gearing up to have a star-studded cast with some familiar faces and exciting new additions. So when it comes to who's calling the shots for Fast and Furious 11, Universal has confirmed that Louis Leterrier, the director behind Fast X, is returning to take the helm for Fast 11. Leterrier managed to steer Fast X to success under intense pressure, stepping in at the last minute after Justin Lin, the longtime director of Fast and Furious, left due to creative differences. Despite having less prep time than usual for such big-budget films, Leterrier pulled off Fast X, earning the studio's trust and bringing him back for Fast X Part Two. When it comes to the story, Christina Hodson and Oren Uziel are on board as the screenwriters for Fast 11. Hodson, known for her work on Bumblebee and Birds of Prey, and Uziel, recognized for his scripts for 22 Jump Street and The Cloverfield Paradox, are set to bring their expertise to the Fast and Furious franchise. Excitingly, Leterrier has hinted that Fast 11 will be even more massive than Fast X in terms of action, scope, and emotion. He promises a thrilling ride that will not only excite, but also touch the audience's hearts, stating, you will feel all the feels, tears will roll. With this talented team in place, Fast and Furious 11 is shaping up to be an epic installment that's sure to leave a lasting impression. 
While the details of the Fast 11 story are currently a well-guarded secret, hints from the cast and crew offer some insights into what we can expect in the next Fast and Furious movie. Serving as the second part of the overarching Fast X narrative, Fast X Part 2 will continue the story after the suspenseful conclusion of Fast X. A key element of Fast 11 will be providing a heartfelt farewell to Brian O'Connor, portrayed by the late Paul Walker. Vin Diesel emphasized the importance of concluding Brian's storyline, considering it integral to bringing the Fast and Furious series to a meaningful close, stating, I couldn't imagine this saga ending without truly saying goodbye to Brian. Another intriguing aspect is the unresolved Fast X cliffhanger, which hinted at Hobbs' return to the franchise. While Dwayne Johnson initially hinted at a Hobbs spinoff, it now appears that Hobbs might make a comeback in Fast 11, especially since Johnson and Diesel have reportedly reconciled. The possibility of Hobbs playing a crucial role in saving the day once again adds an exciting layer to the anticipated storyline. The saga continues, promising a mix of emotional farewells, unresolved mysteries, and the high-octane action that fans love. The burning question on everyone's mind is whether Fast 11 will mark the end of the Fast and Furious series. Despite being part of the Fast X finale, Fast X Part 2 is not the ultimate conclusion. Originally envisioned as the final chapter of the main line saga, Vin Diesel has hinted that Fast and Furious 12 will be the one to bring the saga to a close. The prospect of the lucrative Fast and Furious brand coming to an end seems unlikely, with Universal likely to explore more spin-offs and possibilities. Even after Fast 11 and Fast 12 wrap up the Toretto family storyline, the possibility of spin-offs like Hobbs and Shaw 2 suggests that the Fast and Furious universe might continue its thrilling journey beyond the anticipated conclusion. Gal Gadot's character, Giselle, seemingly met her end in 2009's Fast and Furious when she fell to her death after saving Han. However, she made a surprising return in Fast X. In the Fast and Furious franchise, no death is ever really final, and the series has a history of retconning characters' deaths, as seen with Giselle's lover, Han. Since there was never a body found, there might be an explanation for Giselle's unexpected comeback. Fast 11 seems poised to bring back familiar faces, adding more layers of excitement and unpredictability to the Fast and Furious saga. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.